hi lovelies welcome back to my channel this is Abby word in this video you're gonna learn how to make this beautiful shirt this method can be used for both male and female let's get started <music> the things needed for making the um, shirt and making a man's shirt um, if you see this fabric it's kind of um, stretchy on one side not so much just a little bit okay then my pair of scissors a tape and a chalk let's go straight to the measurements the first thing to do here is to fold it okay so I folded it into two like so I made sure that um, I folded it in a way that I, after removing my um, 3 inches, I have the other um, 18 inches, okay? So here, I'm going to remove 3 inches as some button allowance, okay? 3 inches starting from this top right here. I'll mark 3 inches here. Go down a little bit, mark 3 inches till I get to the bottom of the shirt. You can see the lines, I succeeded in joining the lines together, okay? Thereafter, I'm just going to throw away 1.5 inch from the top. Remember that a men's top, usually um, the front is usually longer than the back. It's usually come in like this. So I'm just going to subtract that 1.5 inch that's going to come from the back. I'll add the, um, subtract it from the front here. So I'm just going to... Um, place my tape like this can you see that then i'll take the measurement of the full length of the um um shirt the full length is 28 so i'm gonna make it 29 okay that's plus one inch sewing allowance now just join the line together like this i believe you can see the length of the um the shirt the down parts it's not very visible because of the um, color i'm just going to um pin up this place so it will not shift that's that extra that i removed out so i'll pin it like so why well, i'm pinning it because the fabric is kind of um shaking fabric so i don't want to um lose any part of these um three inches so the next thing to do is to take my vertical measurements remember like i said before i have to remove um subtract 1.5 so that's where all my measurements um will start from so the first measurement here is going to be that of my armhole i'm using eight to get the measurement of the armhole i divided the bones um, circumference by six and I added 1.5 inches. The bust circumference, for example, is 39. I divided by 6. I had um, 6.5 plus 1.5 inches. Um, and that's how I got this 8 inches. So, that is that of my armhole. So, I'm just going to place the bust measurement close to it at 10. Okay. Then my half length, I'm going to use um, 16 from the shoulder remember that this place is still out of it okay then the length of the um shirt is 28 so that's going to be the last part and i'm going to use my hip measurement for this um down part so we're done with the vertical measurement now the horizontal measurement so i'm simply going to take my boss um the boss of the man here Okay, remember, I'm not starting my measurement from this place. I'm going to start it from this line that I drew earlier on. So, from here, I have um, the bus is 39 divided by 4. I have 9.75 plus 1 inches, 1 and a half inches. So, let me say, I'll just leave it as 11.5. Um, 11, 11 That's okay. Then I come to the waist, okay? The waist is right here. Um, the waist is 38. I divided by um, 
4 I have 9 plus 1 I have um, 10 let me just say I make it 10 and half okay right here then I go down to my hips the hips is right here so hips is 40 divided by 4 I have 10 then I'm just gonna make it 11 okay so I'm taking everything here so I'll just connect the lines to this place the waist and to the bust here you can see I joined the lines together already okay from the hips to the waist and to the bust here is the bust okay now remember this place is my armhole okay so I'm just going to take the shoulder measurement Remember, all measurements have to start from this line. Okay, the shoulder is um, 16 I divided by 2. I have 8. So I'll mark my 8 right here. So I'll repeat the same thing here. 8. So I can connect the lines together. Also, I can have a straight line. So just join this to this place then i'll curve this part like so after curving the arm o i will simply come down by 0 0.75 you can come down by one inch for the shoulder slope okay like so i'll just put my mark there then i'll cut i will fold this part remember this is my three inches so i'll fold it to meet up with the line of the three inches like so okay in order for me to get my neck um, measurement so i will just um pin it right here like this after pinning it now i will take 2.5 inches from this very point in inward like so 2.5 then i'll take three inches down remember this measurement is not constant you can always adjust it later if it is too small it's better it's too small than it's too big if it's too small there is remedy but if it's too big then you have a big problem so i'll just curve it like this i'll cut it out then i'll connect the shoulder slope to this place then for the down parts i wanted it um curve i don't want it to just be a straight line i'm going to come up by two inches you can come up by one and a half is a matter of choice i'll cut I'll mark two inches here then I will connect it straight to this place so I have a kind of a curve like this you can see the curve so I'll cut it out now cutting it out i will place the front on another fabric like this to get the back side okay with the folded edge here then i'm going to leave at least one inch allowance at this waist side because I'm, i want the back to have a kind of a dart then the top i want to add um 3.5 inches to it remember that we subtracted 1.5 at the uh, front so we're going to return it to the back side so i'll just mark my 3.5 right here i'll explain it again so you can understand better let me quickly explain briefly again you can see i folded this one just that line i removed earlier so i'm going to place it on the back like so 
then I removed um, remember I removed one inch from um, 1.5 inch from the front initially so we're going to add it to the back plus the one that's supposed to come from the back which is three inches plus half for sewing allowance this is 3.5 so that's why I have this here so I'm just going to go ahead now and cut it out like I said I added little allowance here like um one inch so that i want the back to have um that okay that from the waist down i want it fitted so i'll just cut it out now and for this um back remember this is how it's going to be so i'll just fold it over it like so Mm -hmm. in order to get my back um measurement that's the neck of the back after folding it like this you can see where the line of this one is okay so i'll just cut it from here like so then So you can see after cutting out the back neck this is what i'm going to have so this is how it's going to come at the end of the day to stitch it here so after joining the shoulders I will, i'm going to check the neck um, circumference if it's too small i'm going to increase it so what we're going to do now we're going to cut the yoke the yoke then the sleeves and that's all we'll go into sewing to get these sleeves it's going to be a short sleeve so i'm just gonna i will fold it together like so then fold it again okay the length of my sleeve is gonna be nine and a half i'll make it ten and a half I'll make it ten and half. Oh, okay. Let me make it eleven because I want it wide. Eleven. This is the inner side. Remember, while this is this side, we're going to open this other place. So. I'll go in by five inches from the ammo, like so. Then I'll connect this part to this place, like this. Then my round sleeve is 14 inches that's divided by two i have seven plus one inches i have eight so i will mark my eight right here then connect it to this other part i will cut it out right away I'll just notch here now in order to get the yoke of the shirt that's that one that is usually placed at the back okay this is the back side it can be any measurement ranging from five to how it depends on how wide you want it to be so this mine I'm just going to take six plus one inches so in allowance which is going to be seven so i'll leave my seven right here i'll just mark seven all through here then connect the lines together thereafter i will place the back side over it like so ensure that it touches this very line that i just marked 
and straighten it up like so then I'll cut it out following the lines the the shape of the neck and everything okay here's my yoke I'll pin them together so that I will easily find them. Now the next thing to cut is the pocket. For the pocket, I'm, I will fold it into two like this. The width is um, two, um, five divided by two. You know is on fold, okay? Divided by two, I have 2.5. Plus one inch sewing allowance, I will have 3.5. My 3.5 will be right here. And the length of the pocket is about um, five inches or, yeah, five inches. So I'm going to leave it at some eight because the upper part where you're going to be putting your hand through, you know, that place I suppose to fold it double inside. So I will leave it at eight. I'll cut it out. In order to get the color, this is a hard stay. Okay. This hard stay. I'm just gonna fold it in half like so then take the circumference of my neck divided by two the circumference of my of the neck sorry not my neck is a man's shirt the circumference is 19 divided by two I have nine and half okay so I'm just gonna take from here to this place I have my nine and half right here nine and a half is here i'll mark it like so okay then from this very point i'll take um i'll take one inch upward from the line here okay from this base i'll mark one inch like so you can make it 1.5 depending on what you want you can also make it maybe i should make it 1.2 okay whatever you take here is what you will also take here after this i will go in again by 1.2 like so after getting this 1.2 i'll connect these lines together then from this point i'll go up by two inches like so then from this folded part i'll go in before then remember as i mark this first one inch i will also mark one inch here as well okay one inch here as well then connect it to this line After taking one inch to this point, I'll also take one inch from this base to this place again and connect the lines. That's what I did already. Then from this edge where I have the next circumference, which is my um, nine and a half, I, I came in by 1.2 inches. Sorry, here was 1.2, not one inch, okay? 1.2 inches. Then from here, I go up by two inch. From here, I'm going to go up by 1.5 inches. Then connect the lines to this other 2 inches here. It's going to be a slanted line. Like so. Then this place, in order for me not to leave it just straight like this, I'll just go out by half an inch so that I can have a slanted line. Just connect here. 
then rule mark here join here to this part can you see that so i'll cut it out now i can as well curve here so that it will not just be straight okay here is what we have i'll just place it on the fabric now and cut it out here is the collar remember this was the um um stay that i used to cut out the pattern okay and this stay is a very hard one not the light one okay so what i did was to iron it directly on the fabric then i left out um half an inch for sewing allowance okay which i'm going to fold in like this. remember this is um, a single collar okay then i'll iron it like this then it will just stay right there then I'll, i'm going to fix it on the um, body of the shirt directly like that then i left out this other part because i'm going to flip it over like this because it's going to be double okay so from here i'm going to cut out this excess from this part okay After cutting out the excess, what I'm going to do next is just to take it to my sewing machine and sew. From this very point, I'm going to sew like this to this place, down here, then run it straight down, then take it to this place, to this place again, and I will end it at this very point, okay? I also went a step ahead to iron my stay on the fabric. This one is a lighter kind of stay, okay? I ironed it to that point where I have my notch okay that's um three inches that we left out initially so what i'm going to do is to fold it like so okay remember that it's going to be overlap right it's going to overlap each other one side is going to hold the button and the other side is going to hold the button hole so i'll fold it to that place where i have my notch both up and down like this then i will now fold it again like so or better see fold first to this place where i have my notch like so i'll take it to my iron and iron it like this then i'll fold again okay like this now this is the left hand side this left hand side is the side that is going to hold the button hole what i'm going to do is to stitch this um edge this tip from the beginning here to the end after ironing it while this right hand side is the side i go to hold the button so i'm going to fold it like that as well again like so okay iron it after that i will do it like this then this time around i'm not going to stitch this end i'm going to stitch on this um, very place like this down I hope you understood from here I'm, I'm sewing the inner part like this down why this other one I sew the 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 edge okay for the sleeves I want it to be um turn up okay I want it to be a turn up so what I did was to cut out a long strip of about some um, four inches folded it into two which will give me two inches on both sides okay thereafter I will just place it like this from the um, right side um, from the wrong side and sew it so when I sew it is going to be like this okay so you can see that this is the wrong side that was where I placed it to sew then after having it like this facing the right side with this edge like this here i'm going to hold it like this and um, form it like this can you see the turn up already is firming so in order for this thing to relax very well i will just go ahead right now and top stitch it from here straight down after that i will have it like this so that it can be a turn up for me but i will not leave this thing like this i need to embellish it with this um ribbon a tiny ribbon so i will just attach this ribbon at the edge like this 
Here's everything briefly. I have the uh, sleeves here. You can see that I already embellish it with the um, ribbon at the um, hem of the sh um, sleeve here. Then here is the collar. I also embellish it with the um, ribbon as well. Here is the back side with the yoke. Can you see that? I also embellish it with the ribbon so that it can look very classy for me. Then here are the two pieces in front. Remember, we divided it into two. Then I went ahead and folded. This part now is that part that is um, going to hold the buttonhole. Remember, I told you we're going to f um, stitch this very edge like so. I stitch this very edge down like i showed you earlier on then i flip it over again and stitch the edge as well so this part is for the button hole while the other part is for the uh, buttons okay and you can see that it's only one uh, stitch there which is the inner stitch so it's going to be placed on top of it like so then i'm going to um attach the front side with the back now it's not the normal kind of stitching at the shoulder i want the stitch to be um inside okay this seems to be inside so what i need to do right now you can see that i'm having three pieces here which is the front the uh, main back and that of the yoke so all i need to do right now is to take the first which is the front and the back together then i will separate the yoke i'll hold the yoke like this and flip it over making sure that i use um um right side facing right side and place it on it like so then i will just um stitch it across by half an inch okay do you understand let me explain again so you can get it better watch closely i took this front okay then took the back part remember the back and the yoke are joined together okay i hold these two pieces together like this okay then this is the yoke i flip it over like this with right side facing right side like this can you see that then i will hold it up make sure everything is in line straighten it up then i will just stitch across here is it. I finished stitching it. Can you see how neat it is? No stitch is showing anywhere. The seams are inside. This is just what I wanted. Wow. Then after that, I'll top stitch it so the ink can relax. Wow. The shirt is ready. I joined the shoulders and every part of it. Can you see this part? I use them um, bias to turn up the edge. Okay wow it's lovely this is amazing can you see the pockets wow this is a designer shirt i can't believe it that i made this you too can make this at the comfort of your home okay for your husbands your fiance and whoever your brothers for yourself as well this is amazing if you like this video, kindly give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more videos because our next video is going to be very inspiring. Can you see the back side as well? Wow, this is amazing. If you have not subscribed yet, you are wrong. Go subscribe so that we can be happy. Make us happy, okay? You can see the two um back dots, right? Wow. Stay tuned for more videos. I love you. Bye.